welcome to a new vlog. And I don't know, but if you saw the last vlog, you saw that we're doing something that we can't quite show you yet. Because we have big things happening this week. <laughs> so we're gonna see you in the next vlog with whatever's going on here. Because we had, well, okay, long story short, Jens and Michaela, Yanni's sister and husband, they built a new house and then they put a swim spa in it. And since they filled it up, everything I heard from, from the two crazy ones in there was at 6 a.m. Papa, Papa, let's go to Jens and Mickey's. We wanna go on the swim spa. And I was like, oh, that's great. You know, day four, I'm like, you know what? We need a swim spa and we need it now. Only problem is I heard they had like a really long delivery. So I called up Jens, I'm like, Jens, what kind of swim spot do you have? I want an identical one. And they had a uh, swim spot from Hydropool because I needed the same thing so that the kids would not, you know, want to go anywhere at 6 a.m. So that was like, I'd want to say 11 in the morning, I got the number. So at 12, uh, I had gotten a hold of the guys at Hydropool. And they're like, I'm like, yeah, when can we deliver? Like, you know, can we do it this summer? Well, actually, we have one available that we could, uh, could get to you by Monday. And I'm like, okay, it's Friday now. I need to do groundwork. I need to fix everything. Can we say Tuesday? And then I hung up. I'm like, okay, this is going to be tight. So I called the excavator guy. I'm like, please tell me you're available. And he's like, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, but I have some time tonight. So we went from idea to excavator coming in like seven hours. So at seven, our main man comes with the excavator and we start working on it. So now we're gonna discover to see what's underneath the ground here, see if we can put it there. It's a moment of truth. That would have been you and me for like, you know, burning a thousand calories for 30 minutes. <laughs> Still here, but we can't really see anything, so maybe we have to call it a day. Because it get Oh! Let the night session begin. Champion. Obviously, the land here is not the best or the easiest to work with because it is just boulders and boulders and boulders and boulders. So it took a while, um, but at the end of that day, we actually had kind of found a level for the swim spot. But yeah, so yeah, that was day one. We had, uh, you know, at least a level to start with. And then the next day, 12 tons of gravel show up with a big truck. Step number two, foundation. I mean, every day when there's a big, truck coming and things are happening progress is being made that's a good day we pushed the gravel in and you know spreading a little bit of gravel is fine but when you're talking i think we put five tons at the bottom just to get it good to make it really solid of course if this was like fully permanent for the rest of the end of time uh we would have made a concrete plate but since i was like you know what we're gonna get this done in a week no problem after all the gravel went in, like this, try to smoothen it out, getting that laser in so that it's perfect and level. And then next up, the swim spa shows up. You know, it, it felt bigger when the truck's coming and lifting it in. You know, we put it in, I'm like, okay, we chose a good location. So we got that in place, um, you know, trying to figure everything out. The electrician came later that day because you need a three-phase um, electrical system that we had to drill a hole through the house, dig like a tunnel all the way over and connect it all. Next day, water trucks show up with uh, nine cubic meters of water to fill inside of that. 
after that next day I was sick can you believe it like it was like day and night just going at it no stopping because I mean once you put things in we start like leveling the ground like trying to figure out what level things are going to come at rebuilding the rocks down here yeah so it's not weird that I got sick but like proper sick so I couldn't do anything luckily the deck around the swim spa I kind of had the uh, you know naive idea like oh, no problem I'll build that in two days luckily we had some help come in and build that um, and they built it a lot better than I would have uh, so once the deck came in then me and Victor we realized ah, we need to adjust the grass so then yesterday we were going at it for uh, I think I was at it for seven, eight hours. But now we're almost ready to try it out. I mean, there's still, I mean, if you look here, it's supposed to be grass, but grass is going to take a little while to like grow. So we're not going to call it finished, but finished to use. And I know two little kids in there that are very, very excited to try it out. So I think we should take the covers off, get them ready and let them try it out for the first time. But it was an ambition. Like, I think one of the strong personality traits that I have is that I am an optimist. Nothing's ever a problem. But it sometimes is a curse as well, because I tend to give myself assignments that, uh, yeah, sometimes halfway kill my health because it's no rest, uh, no nothing. But hopefully, hopefully it'll be worth it when they jump in. So I say we get them dressed and let's see what this thing looks like. What? Okay, look at this here. This is kids playing and the beauty about having something like this over there is that you have the kitchen, dining area, living room where you can always see the pool. But the question is, are you guys ready yeah. to try? Yeah. We can reveal a look at <laughs> this. Oh, and here comes Leon. Who's winning? Who's winning? <laughs> and here goes me. <laughs> But look at this, we haven't properly shown Kapapabada. But first we have to look. You know, can you do five seconds? Yeah. I was gonna say it's really easy to vlog with kids and trying to connect the sent uh, connect the sentence. Uh, but I was also gonna say. Papa is a blooker. He's not a it's finally papa time kids are asleep and now you can understand why we put the pool in this direction. I'm a little bummed we don't have a bit more clouds to make a better sunset, but I hope it, it comes through on the camera that this is a pretty nice way to end your day and end a vlog. No, wait, wait, wait. We gotta end this in a special way. I can't duplicate it perfectly, but since we all know Daniel Ricardo is back in Formula One and we all know how Daniel celebrates something good, We'll see you later.